to illustrate the use of GPS and GIS, we worked with Troy Mullane, superintendent at the Farms Golf Club in Rancho Santa Fe, California. Troy recently completed an extensive fairway renovation program that was targeted at improving soil conditions through sand capping some fairways and regrading many areas to ensure good surface water runoff and drainage. Prior to the project, the course had numerous areas where surface grades had dropped below 1% to leave some areas dead level or below the surrounding grade. With a well-drained sand base, this might not have been a serious problem, but with a heavy clay soil at the farms, the result is areas of declining turf where soil salts and sodium stressed and killed the hybrid Bermuda grass. This photograph provides an example of the small patches of declining turf that are caused by heavy soils and improper surface grading that results in a drainage problem. Surface runoff from the surrounding area deposits salts in the shallow bowl. For this example, we surveyed the area by taking GPS coordinates that would be latitude, longitude, and altitude readings every three feet over the entire area. The result is a graphic illustration of how water will flow. Let's take a look at the process. We used a Trimble Ag GPS 132 GPS receiver and antenna with submeter accuracy. Data was collected using HGIS software from StarPal running on a TDS 400 handheld computer. Well, from the survey data, we can plot the latitude and longitude in addition to elevation of each one of the points. And we can develop a contour map like you've seen uh, many times before and show which way the water is going to flow. Uh, areas that are bounded entirely by a line indicate that they're either a high spot or a low spot. So here we can see that our trouble area over to the right is definitely lower than the surrounding areas. Uh, what we can do instead of having the actual numbers plotted on the graphs and the contour lines illustrating the elevations is that we can use a vector type of graph that will show which way the water is going to flow. Let's take a look at that display. Here's the vector graph and the size of the arrows indicate the slope and the amount of water that's going to flow to a particular direction. As you can see, all the arrows flow to the X. That would be an area that would have to either be regraded or we could possibly install something a little bit more simple like a sand pit drain. Let me describe how that would work. So with a sand pit you identify the low area and once you have that identified what you do is you auger down a couple of feet and you fill that pit with sand. By augering a cylinder out of the soil you will increase the surface area for water to infiltrate the soil improving apparent surface hydraulic conductivity. For example if you use a one foot diameter auger, an auger to a depth of three feet, you will increase the surface area for water infiltration from 0.79 square feet to 10 square feet. This increase in area for water infiltration will help move runoff water from the surrounding areas and move it into the soil to move to drain. 